What's up, America? With the election right around the corner, which has been one of the most emotionally and politically charged elections we've seen in a long time, I want to have a conversation with you guys today about civic duty. The term civic duty can mean a lot of things. It can mean staying informed on issues that affect your local community. It can mean paying your taxes. It could mean defending your country if you were called upon. But more often than not, when the term civic duty is thrown around, what it's referring to is our right and responsibility to vote. And in terms of voter participation for the younger generation, our measure of civic duty has been pretty laughable. Let me give you some numbers. In the 2012 presidential election, 45% of voters 18 to 29 turned out to vote, which is down six points from the 2008 election. And youth turnout numbers, they get even worse in a midterm election. In 2014, less than 20% of voters 18 to 29 even casted a ballot. That's the lowest turnout rate ever in a federal election. I go in and out of high schools all the time. And I always hear students talking about the culture of America and changing the status quo. And they have these in-depth conversations about which political party they get behind. And I've even seen your guys' social media. I see you guys tweet about things that matter. I see you guys change your profile picture to some rainbow colored photo. I've seen you guys use the hashtag Black Lives Matter. You use the hashtag All Lives Matter. And what's crazy to me is statistically speaking, how many of you don't get out from behind your smartphones or your computers to actually go do something about it? I don't think your generation understands that you guys have the ability to change the status quo. You guys have the ability to guide and change our country for generations to come. Whether it's voting, protesting, volunteering, you guys can do something tangible that can actually make a difference. Let me put it to you this way. There are roughly 46 million young people ages 18 to 29 who are eligible to vote. And there are roughly 39 million senior citizens who are eligible to vote. What that means is there are 7 million more young people in the world today who are eligible to vote, yet statistically, you vote the least. While every generation complains, your generation participates the least in a way that actually stands for something. Some of you watching this, you're 18, and you're gonna have an opportunity to vote coming up. But for some of you watching, maybe you're not 18. Maybe you got a couple years to go until you get there. But it doesn't mean that you can't exercise your civic duty at school. If you've ever complained about a school dance, or you've ever complained about the culture of leadership at your school, have you ever run for office? Have you ever run for student council? Have you ever voted those officials in? And if you haven't, I think it's important to remember, if you don't vote, don't complain. I think one of the biggest keys when it comes to civic engagement is you've gotta stay informed. When it comes to things like elections, research the candidates, understand what their policies are all about. And when it comes to your local community issues, read the newspaper, talk to your parents, go to a city council meeting. And it's important to express yourself and have constructive conversations. And one way to do that is find someone who thinks different from you. Find someone who doesn't agree with you politically and have a conversation, not an argument, but have a conversation. Try to understand their perspective. Try to understand where they're coming from. Try to understand their view on an issue. And in doing that, not only will you get a new perspective, but you'll have a deeper understanding for why you believe what you believe. So why get involved? Why does it matter? Why is civic duty important? There are millions of people all across the world who can't vote. They have to protest, they have to fight just for the right to even cast a vote. And maybe you're sitting there thinking that your vote doesn't count and it doesn't actually even matter. Well, it does. You guys are a part of the biggest generation that has ever happened. And if you guys collectively get together, you vote, you protest, you get involved, you exercise your civic duty, you guys will make a difference. You will shape the future of this country. You've got to take pride in participating. You've got to take pride in getting involved. You have to take pride in voting. It's easy to share something on Facebook. It's easy to post a photo on Instagram. It's easy to use a hashtag on Twitter. But those things will never make an impact, like organizing an event, volunteering, checking a box in a ballot. Those things, your civic duty, that makes a difference. If you don't like the way things are, if you want something to change, it's your responsibility to exercise your civic duty. Good morning, Solanco. Today is Monday, November 4th. The weather for today is probably cloudy with a high of 52, and the lunch for today is wings with tater tots. Congrats to the faculty basketball team for their win over the weekend. The Student Christian Fellowship will be meeting this Friday in room 513 during advisory. Join us as we discuss different biblical topics with from various perspectives. Renee's closet, closet and Dapper Dance is open daily during advisory from now until the winter formal. Please feel free to stop by and rent your winter formal items for free. See Mrs. McRobbie or Haley Larson if you have any questions. The winter formal is quickly approaching. The winter formal dance will be held on Saturday, December 16th from 7 to 10 p.m. in the high school cafeteria. Cost is $8 per person or $15 per couple. 
Tickets for the dance will be purchased at the door. If you would like to invite a guest that does not attend Salenko High School, please pick up a permission form in the office. There will be snacks and water for purchasing during the dance. If you would like to donate snacks or water for the dance, please bring the items to Mrs. Rothstein's room 808. Come out on Saturday, December 16th to dance your way into the holiday season. Anyone who would like to attend Minithon this year may pick up a permission slip in 805 or the office. This year, the Minithon is sponsoring activities that contribute to each class's total points for Color Crusades. Additionally, we will have at least two escape rooms, live clue, a murder mystery room, three-on-three -three volleyball and basketball tournaments, and a VIP room for those raising over $100 to help kids with cancer. VIP members will have a special sit-down dinner and may play in all additional events for free. Come out and join the fun on February 9th and 10th from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. All students interested in dual enrollment for the second semester should see their school counselor for information. Placement testing for HACC will be held here at the high school on Wednesday, December 20th. Please sign up in the guidance if interested. Today's events are Spring Musical Callbacks, Chorus Room, 3 p.m. to 5.30 p.m., Softball Open Gym, Small Gym, 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m., Mock Trials, LGI Room, 2.45 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. We would like to wish the following a happy birthday. Kaylee Barr and Bailey Wagner. Please stop by the library and pick up your birthday treat. On behalf of the WSLC News Team, I'm Tasha Queto. Have a musical Monday, Salenko.